Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I want to tell you guys about two extremely good Extreme Z Awakenings. Why do I keep doing that? Two very, very good Extreme Z Awakenings that are going to be dropping on the global side of the game uh, in the near future. The first one is actually coming out in about three days from now, on the 13th, and that's for the Tech Majin Vegeta. And the other one is dropping in just under two weeks on the 23rd and that's for the fizz good majin Buu. so let's start here with the tech majin vegeta first and for both these guys i'll start with their current details before the eza and then go over their extreme z awakening details so you guys can compare the two all right so starting with uh, his leader skill it's agl tech and str types hp and attack plus 25 percent super attack mass damage and greater chance to stun all enemies and passive was attack plus 50% at the start of the turn. And that's it. New details with the EZA. Leader skill is all types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 60%. Obviously, much improved. Still not a great leader skill, but at least it's somewhat usable now. Super attack is supreme damage to all enemies with a chance of stunning them. And I believe this is... Yes, 25% chance to stun. For two turns before the EZA, it was only 15%. And new passive is attack and defense plus 60%, raises key by up to 3, and attack and defense by up to 60%. The more HP remaining, the greater the key and stats boost, plus an additional attack plus 88% when performing a super attack when HP is 60% or less once only. So basically, when you're at full HP, he's gonna be getting key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 120%. And then when you fall below 60% HP, you're getting that additional 88% attack for one super. And uh, he just overall becomes a much better unit, obviously, with the EZA. Definitely a great option for World Tournament or any other event where you need an attack all unit. In fact, I would say he's better than the AGL Majin Vegeta, the LR1, mainly because it's much easier to get his attack all super. The LR1 needs an 18 key and uh, he has much more defense, which is also pretty important on the higher difficulties of World Tournament, right? So um, yeah, I think he's a great unit. I'm excited for him. I would probably rank him as the third best Majin Vegeta in the game behind the Tech Dokkan Fest one, as well as the STR uh, Extreme Z Awakened one, but ahead of the LR and also the, uh, the Fizz Battlefield one, okay? so. There you go, that is Tech Maja Vegeta dropping in about three days from now. And now let's move on to the Fizz Fat Boo. His old leader skill, or his current leader skill before the EZA, is all types attack plus 30%, super attack extreme damage, and lowers defense, and passive is recovers 25% HP when HP is 40% or below. His Extreme Z Awakened details are Leader Skill, All Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 60% just like Majin Vegeta, uh, Super Attack raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage and greatly lowers enemy's defense, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 66%, Key plus 1 up to 3, and Attack and Defense plus 22% up to 66% with each attack received, recovers 30% HP when HP is 40% or less. Okay, so this guy has um, a lot of great things going for him. Number one, he gets a ton of attack and defense after taking a few hits because each of the boosts is calculated separately. So he's actually getting attack and defense plus 175.56% after taking three attacks. And on top of that, he's one of the best healers in the game. 30% HP recovery is crazy. Now granted, you have to be below 40% HP, right? But this can occur more than once. So basically every single time you fall below 40% HP and he comes onto rotation, you get 30% HP back. So that's amazing. Just an awesome Extreme Z Awakening, in my opinion. And he's gonna make that Majin Power slash Power Absorption team that's already really hard to kill uh, even more immortal, right? Because everybody else is gonna be recovering HP with their supers and on their passives, and this guy's gonna be giving you 30% HP if you ever fall below 40%, which is pretty hard to do, but if it happens, then he's got you covered. So uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Those are the two Extreme Z Awakenings. This guy is dropping on the 23rd, 
And uh, as far as medals go, you'll need 15 bronze medals, uh, 40 silver, 30 gold, and 30 uh, rainbow. Same thing with the Majin Vegeta. 15 bronze for the first three steps, and then 40 silver for steps four and five, and then 30 gold for step six, and 30 rainbow for step seven. As far as stats go, 16,249 HP, 14,549 attack, and 10,010 defense at rainbow status when fully extremes the awakened you might notice that the stats are not super high but they're uh they're good enough and also for the boo 16,335 hp 14,513 attack and 12,110 defense so that is everything you guys need to know about these uh ezas now before we go let's quickly check out their extremes the area events and unfortunately they are part of the Hero Extermination Plan Extreme Z area, which uh, I'm definitely not a huge fan of. Even among like Extreme Z areas, which are generally pretty unpopular, I feel like this is one of the worst, if not the worst, just because the pool of units that you can use to run this event is uh, pretty rough. So they are the fourth set, and level 9 is for Majin Vegeta, level 10 is for the uh, Fat Boo, and here are the units that you can use to uh, farm their medals and like I said man not a great selection unless you have a bunch of them extreme Z awaken already in that case you're good to go but for people that haven't really worked on you know a bunch of these guys haven't awakened or extreme Z awaken a bunch of them um, the leader skills are gonna be pretty rough like the best you can get is like HP attack and defense plus 50% maybe but even that I think is limited to two different types and I think that's this guy right here which has uh let's see yeah tech and str oh hp and attack no defense plus 50 percent and I think the best all types leader skill is something like this guy's which is um yeah all types hp and attack plus 30 percent I think a bunch of them are actually hp and attack plus 30 percent but yeah it's not great that's why a lot of people really hate this event but uh for these two Extreme Z Awakenings specifically, I think it might kind of be worth the grind. Obviously, the choice is up to you. If you guys have nothing better to do, then might as well get it done since uh, Boo and Majin Vegeta are both very, very good. But anyways, guys, that is today's video. There's not much else to say. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.